Hello everybody, it's Friday, that means it's time for another Topic of the Week. So, first things first, on uh, last week's topic, on your favorite models, it was, a little, it was very interesting to see everybody's responses. Um, there's a lot of cool, sort of, it, it's interesting, what do I want to say about it? It always fascinates me what sort of motivates people to paint. Because some people answer things like terrain, or some people did like super heavy armored models, some people really love big monsters, you know, all this kind of stuff. And that's one of the things I love about miniature wargaming is that within that specific thing of painting toy soldiers, right? Little plastic men and women, you can find a sort of sub niche that you really enjoy. You enjoy painting, you know, like Nurgle type stuff that's gross and disgusting or super clean high elves or things with lots of like intricate armor or whatever. Um, so there was a lot, a lot of good discussion about that, which I thought was really cool. Um, one other quick shout out I want to give uh, is to Victor Case, who two weeks ago we had a topic about what motivated you to start an army, and Victor was a little late with his response, but he did an amazing video going through every army he has, which is mind-boggling. <laughs> that man has a collection. Um, and he goes through every army he has since he started playing you know, both 40k and fantasy, and talks about what motivated him to get the army, what he was going for. It's really cool to watch his thought process evolve, to watch, you can see the sort of painting evolve over time. Victor's a fantastic painter. Um, so actually go back to that video. I did link it in the description of that one. It's a worthwhile watch, or just go straight to Victor's channel if you know him, um, because it's a wonderful video if you haven't seen it, and it's a really cool look at a lot of awesome armies. So there you go. This week's topic. So this week's topic, obviously we have the announcement of the General's Handbook 2. Now we've known it's coming, we already talked about it, but we had a little bit of a bomb dropped on us this week in the announcement of not only the Allegiance abilities that we knew were coming on the TOC, but also we got information that we're going to have allies. So allies are going to be a thing now where 20% of your army can be from some other faction with some kind of restriction, we don't know what it is yet, and you still retain your Allegiance. I think this is a great thing. I've always loved allies as a concept. I was a big proponent of Dogs of War back in the day, which, you know, really for a lot of their play weren't done as a whole army. You could run a whole Dogs of War force, but it was much more common to see them as like a unit put in something else as an ally. Mercenaries that you had, you had sort of purchased as it were. So I've been a fan of the allies concept for a long time. So what I want to know is, oh, what do you think of allies in the Age of Sigmar. Are you excited for it? What type of armies does this motivate you to build? You know, one of the things we joked about on the show uh, last night was, let's say the rules for it are basically you can ally with anybody in your allegiance. So if you're order, you can ally with any other order, which would make sense. I don't know if that's how they'll structure it or not. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a little tighter restrictions, but whatever, we'll see. Let's say it's like that. Um, then suddenly the it, there's going to be an explosion of various themed celestial huracanums because I think that's a great inclusion into your force. Who doesn't love plus one to hit being broadcast in a bubble? So I think that there's going to be a lot of interesting situations like that where um, there'll be where sort of there's rulesy ways you can bring allies in. But what I'm more interested in is what are the thematic armies that maybe you couldn't make before because you couldn't stay in faction, that you can make now that's in your head. Maybe you've always wanted to do, like Tom mentioned, the Karadran Overlords, you know, allied with the Fire Slayers, the angry Fire Slayer contingent. They even mentioned that in the KO book, I would point out, that there's a sort of shared lodge there. Um, do you have, you know, do you have like a Sylvaneth Stormcast type force, like was mentioned in the, you know, one of the more recent, in the Sylvaneth book? I think there's lots of cool ways to build across alliance, and the ally system being in there is the perfect mix to me, because it's always about keeping that sort of mix between linear building and, and modular building, where you can just sort of bring stuff in. Allegiance abilities make you want to build very linearly. You know, if I have an allegiance that only gives me, if I can only pick it and I can only get the bonus when I'm all free people, then I'm inclined and incentivized to build and take only free people. But that can sometimes restrict you a little too much from building cool stuff. You know, like, some, it is neat to have free people have other stuff join them. Like, oh, I don't know, how about their wizards and the Iron's Weld Arsenal? But also, why not some tree people? Yeah, sure. Like, or whatever, you know, things like that. There's, there's 
I love themed armies. I love cool concepts like that coming to life, and I'm glad that they're sort of empowering the player base to do that. So, that's the topic this week. What do you think of the allies? Uh, what do you what what ideas do you have for allying up? And do you have any cool themed forces you would build with this, or any choice units you think you'd want to include in your force now? I've seen some people already scheming and sharing their lists on Twitter. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Is there something your Stormcast have always wanted to have in, but you couldn't keep that Stormcast allegiance? Or maybe your Sylvaneth, or maybe something else. You know, there's a lot. There's going to be a lot of new allegiance abilities now, so there's going to be a lot more incentive to get those sub-factions going. So what are you going to ally with? There we go. That's the topic. Very excited. As always, if you make a video response, share it, and I'll put, post the link for that down below. But of course, just feel free to throw your response down in the comments. Let's have the discussion. I'm interested to see what people think about allies and the forces they're scheming up already in response to it. So, look forward as always to that, and we'll see you next time.